So you know the MCU, how they have all of their movies connected into one big storyline. Well, did you know that there's a game company that actually does that with a lot of their games as well? And a lot of people might not know that. So I've actually been talking about making this video for quite a while now. In a few of my previous videos, I have brought up the quote unquote Ubiverse. And that's because I've made a few videos on Ubisoft games in the past. I am finally getting around to making that video explaining what I mean by the Ubiverse. Now, when I figured out this theory of mine, I did a little bit of research and I learned that I wasn't the only one who had this theory. And this was quite a while ago. This was a long time ago. And honestly, looking up certain things now, I see that it is a way more mainstream theory. A lot of people actually believe this and it's and it's more commonly believed now. But that doesn't mean I can't still make this video. Now, a lot of people might not know about the Ubisoft games being connected, but there are a few big, what I call anchor points, things that just automatically connect the games. I know if you've seen my video on the connections between Dead Island and Dying Light, those are claims very loosely based on any factual stuff in the game. But this theory, on the other hand, has a lot more weight to it, let's just say. I'm going to start off with the quote unquote anchor points, which are things in the games that directly connect to other games that you can't argue it that it's just right in your face. I'm not going to stall on this intro anymore. Let's just get right into this. I'm going to start off with Assassin's Creed. That was the first game that I really saw a connection to the other games in. So if you've played Assassin's Creed 4, you would know how the Animus and Abstergo is different in this game, where you are working for Abstergo and you help out the CEO of Abstergo, Oliver Garneau. I probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't really care. He's a video game character. You actually get a side mission in Watch Dogs where you have to go and eliminate that person, Oliver Garneau. And so right there is a connection between the Assassin's Creed and Watchdog universes. So right off the bat, we have Watchdogs and Assassin's Creed connected. Now, still going off of Assassin's Creed, we can actually connect Assassin's Creed to Splinter Cell. Because in, I believe, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, when you are playing as Layla, you find a pair of goggles that are quite similar to Sam Fisher's, and you do make a comment about the third echelon, which is the organization in the Splinter Cell games, connecting Assassin's Creed to Splinter Cell. Now, if Assassin's Creed is connected to Watch Dogs as well, those three games are automatically connected. Now, to tie in Splinter Cell to a couple other games, in Ghost Recon, I can't remember if it's Wildlands or Breakpoint, you do do missions with Sam Fisher. But on top of that, I do know in Breakpoint, there is a class set for Echelon, which is, uh, as I said, the organization from Splinter Cell. So therefore, that ties in Splinter Cell to Ghost Recon, also tying in Ghost Recon to both Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. Now, Ghost Recon, in Wildlands, you actually do missions for the Rainbow Six team. You help the Rainbow Six team out. And on top of that, in Rainbow Six, I think recently they just put Sam Fisher in. So ultimately, that ties in Rainbow Six to Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon, and Splinter Cell. Now those are my anchor points. Those are the games where you can confirm that they are in the same universe. Now I do have extra points to draw in a few other games, such as Far Cry. See, in Far Cry, there are a few different things in a couple of the games that actually point towards Assassin's Creed. In Far Cry 6, you can find an item catalog, which I don't exactly remember what it says, but I'm pretty sure it was along the lines of pair of ancient blades concealed in gauntlet or something like that. But it was very close to that, which indicates Assassin's Creed being in the same universe as Far Cry. Now, that's kind of a, could just be a little Easter egg. Along with that, in Far Cry 3, you can actually find a note or a document or whatever, which talks about an Abstergo factory being in the country that 
Far Cry 3 takes place in. Now, there are probably a lot of things that I am missing in this video or things that I'm just not bringing up because it's really not solid enough evidence to tie in these games together. But I do want to bring in some funny little extras and one theory that I have. I will start with the theory that I have. This also helps tie in the Far Cry to the other universes. Now, with that, I will start by saying I've never seen this theory online. I came up with this totally by myself after watching a bunch of videos on the story of Assassin's Creed and learning about the Isus and the artifacts of Eden and everything. Like, I learned, I watched a two hour long video and learned everything because I was super intrigued by the true story of Assassin's Creed. I didn't know it went so in depth. And in it, I learned about the weapons of Eden, which are part of the artifacts. And they were like blades and swords and stuff that had the power of controlling minds and they were super powerful weapons. And when I saw that, it kind of made me think of Far Cry 3, the dagger you have to get for Citra. With that, it would make sense finding that document about Abstergo being there. They could have as well been looking for that blade. And if you remember the dagger you get for Citra, it has these like mind bending effects and it's this really powerful dagger that almost is exactly the same as one of these weapons or, or artifacts of Eden. Now, I've explained this to my friends and stuff who also play Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, and they totally agree with me. If you look at everything about that dagger and everything about the Assassin's Creed artifacts of Eden, they are very parallel. That dagger seems like that's what it would be. And I don't think they ever open up on where that dagger comes from, though I could be wrong. You could learn where the dagger comes from and what the dagger really is. Now, I don't want people going in the comments of being like, well, this is actually where the dagger's from, because I don't care. I'm just saying that could be what it is. And finding that note for Abstergo is also a big thing that ties that together. That's enough of that theory. If you want to hear more on it, I could possibly make a full video, do a little more research on it. But I want to talk about some funny tie-ins into the quote-unquote Ubiverse. First off, I'll start with Sam Fisher. And I don't remember if it's Watch Dogs or Ghost Recon, one of the games where you do a mission with Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher mentions Solid Snake and MGS. And I don't think he's actually tying in the, the Solid Snake and all the Metal Gear Solid universe to the Ubiverse. I think it was just a funny little Easter egg, and I'm not... Not trying to say nothing there. As I said, these are just funny little things that are mentioned in the game. Another funny thing you can sort of say is Predator and Terminator are in the same universe as Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs. <laughs> and the reason you could say that is Predator and Terminator are both in Ghost Recon. And Ghost Recon is one of those anchor point games that are definitely connected to other universes. So I don't actually believe that. I think this again is one of those just funny little Easter egg uh, tie in things. Because I'm not even going to talk about Rainbow Six and all of their Yakuza, this, that tie-ins. Because I don't think they're trying to connect that. I'm just mentioning all of the funny stuff. And the last little cool, funny thing that I don't really think is actually a tie-in to any other games. But maybe. You can find Abstergo logos all over the Division. And the reason I think that's funny is the Division cannot be tied into these other games. And I will explain... You know, obviously there's going to be some games that can't be tied in. The Division is one of them because of the virus and how everything is going on at the same time as the other games. So it just it wouldn't make a lot of sense. And obviously, you know, Rabbids and Raymond. But people would say, what about Far Cry because of the nukes that go off in Far Cry 5? Well, you could say that Far Cry 5 could be making a different timeline because of New Dawn and everything. But at the same time... Everything moves out of the U.S. when you think about it. Far Cry isn't in the U.S. Watch Dogs moves to the U.K. They're not making Splinter Cell right now. And Ghost Recon isn't in the U.S. The Division doesn't take place in the same timeline. Assassin's Creed isn't in the U.S. So easily the events of Far Cry could have happened. And it's just not a lot of games in the U.S. in the Ubiverse. But really, that's all I have to say. If there's anything I missed and you guys want to add anything in, definitely let me know in the comments. If you wanted to add something, if you want to disagree, I will have a little debate with you in the comments. Um, yeah, that's all I want to really say. 
If you like this video, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my new videos. Got a lot coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But yeah, uh, don't forget to check out BillyTheWhip.com or just Billy the Whip on any music platform for some new music. I'm working on some new stuff right now. I know I keep saying that in all my videos, but it, it's true. But as always, gotta end the video off the same every time. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.